Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we will see how to recreate the effect that you can see on the Apple HomePod ad. You can see my version here. Basically, we will see how to synchronize the force of all particles according to the amplitude of the music and in addition modify the scale of all particles as well as create a mapping. You can as always find the complete file on my Patreon. Okay guys, let's go. Okay, so now we are in 3 Max and the first thing I'm going to do is to import the song I want for my particle effect. So I will go here in curve, sound here, double click, add and select my sound. Please notice that if you have an mp3 file, it will not work. So you have to convert your audio into a wave or AV file. Okay, open, close. I can now go here in the name of my sound and in waveform. Okay, I can see it. I will now click here to see it better. And now we will listen the song to see if it works. Okay, look good. Okay, I will now maybe increase the number of frame, 500. Great. Now that the song is imported, we will now create the title setup. So I will click here and create my title setup, but just before I will create my text. So here in shape, text in the center like this. I will close for the moment the editor. For the text, I will write maybe soon. Rotate it to 90 degrees, like this, maybe in aisle black. Play a bit with the canning. Okay, great. I will now add a bevel. Maybe with an extrusion of 10. Okay, maybe 15. Perfect. I place my camera like this and i will hit ctrl c to create the camera great now i can go back to my title setup here open editor i will add a burst zero and end zero and a lot of particle just move the window on the right for the moment i will now add a position object and select my text. Okay, so now we can see a lot of particles on the text. I will just hide my text. I don't need it anymore. The text, don't need it. Okay, we can see here the particle, but we don't want small particle like this. We want sphere. So I will add a shape operator. Go to mesh and select 3D. Geosphere mid res and change the display to geometry. Great. I can now go back to shape, go to scale and maybe up a bit 200, 300 with a lot of variation, maybe 40. Okay, so we can see here particles on the sphere, but I don't like the result here. I want better packing of the particle, so I will add a fuse operator. For the fuse radius, I will use shape radius and maybe increase the multiplier. Let's see, two. Mm, two looks good. I will maybe up again the shape, shape size. 500, maybe increase a bit the fuse, maybe 2.5, great, better. Okay, so now we have our text with the particle, we have a good packing of the particle on the text. So now what we want to do is to create a force. So I will go here in type flow, force, type flow, and add a tie wind my tie wind here change the mode to spherical change the view center and same in the left view 
just like this. Perfect. So now we'll try to see if it works. So I have here my force with the strength to one and after the frame 20, I want the force to be zero. Okay, so I cannot go back to my type loss setup and I will not add a force. Force here and I will pick my Tywind. Great. We can see that the force works, it's good. Now what we want is to go back to the original position after an amount of time. So I will create a custom property to save the position of my particle on the object. Go down, custom TM and select TM to save the position on my object. And for the channel, I will set um, position object. Great. So I have my custom properties. Now I want to go back to the original position. So I will add a fine target. For my target object, I will select my text. And for the target alignment, I will select custom TM with position object. And same for the target location here. I change closest to custom TM and I select my position object. Okay, so now what we want to do is to drive the strength of the force by the amplitude of the song. So I will go here in my Tywind. Again, in the curve editor, select my Tywind. Here in object, I can see your strength. I will now right click and go in assign controller. Select audio float and just import my song. So here the song. Perfect. I cannot select my tailwind. Go to strength. Maybe click here. Okay, so as you can see, we don't see the amplitude of the song. So I will maybe increase the max to 50 and perfect like this. So, okay, what you can do if you want is to play with the oversampling or the threshold. Generally, I don't change the oversampling, but if you want, you can increase a bit the threshold to 0 0.1, maybe more. 0 0.3 so by increasing the threshold you can see that you have big eye and very big down here so i think it could be better for the simulation of the particle so i think it's good for me like this i will close and close here the curve editor and now go back to type flow so i can go here to type flow and let's see how it looks okay so we can see here the force and it's very very too high for our fine target so we will increase a bit the value of the fine target so i go back to my type loss setup here in my fine target and i will up the velocity to 50 and same for the acceleration you can if you want increase the variation 40 if you want to have a very cool effect like this with a big force with the particle and variation to go back to the original position. Great. Okay, so now what I have to do is to play with the scale of the particle. So I will add a scale operator. And select scale by velocity mm, let's see <laughs> it's very very too much here so maybe a value of 5 20 so if you want to add again more variation in your effect with the scale to improve the look of your final render you can easily play with this effect it's really cool
you just have to select scale by velocity and play here with the scale value. Okay, so now I think it's finished for the creation of this effect. Now what you want to do is to create cool mapping, cool texture to our variation in the texture during the movement of your particle. So to do that, I will add another custom properties. Here, custom properties. For this one, I will go to timing and set continuous. And here we can see the axis. We have X, Z, and Y, and we want a mapping in the right direction. So I will go here and select in custom float, I will select position Y. I can set a name for the channel, maybe mapping. And it's good. Now what we have to do to finish is just to create a mapping operator. Select mapping from custom float and for the channel, I will select mapping. I will now enable the normalized value. You can of course play with the value as you want, but for me what it works is to set minus 50 and 50. I will now go to the material editor, go to material, V-Ray, view material, diffuse, map, general, and for the map, maybe a gradient ramp. I will now change the color, maybe here a red, and a blue. Maybe a color between. Okay, like this. I can now apply this texture on my type flow. Okay, so we can see here the gradient, but now what we want to do is to change the mapping to continuous because we want that the color be affected by the velocity and the amplitude of the movement of the y axis. So I will switch here to continuous. Great, and now let's see. Whoa, very cool. We can see here, we are here, light red. And with the movement, we go to dark red. It's really cool. You can, if you want, change like this. Maybe change the color to a yellow. Red. It's up to you to play with this value to create the look you want for your effect, the look you want for the color of your animation. To finish, I think my particles are a bit small, so I will just go back to my shape and increase the number 900. 800. And increase the multiplier. Four. 3.5 great ok don't want grey look so maybe like this it's very beautiful ok guys so it's over for this tutorial I hope you've learned a lot of things don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work you can find the complete file as always on my patreon and you can follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial, guys. Bye.